First thing we're going to do is going to take some dicum. And here's our block. There's our print. And we've got three places that we're going to need to mark for drilling. So I'm going to put a little bit of dicum in there, a little bit of dicum there, and a little bit of dicum there. Now you'll notice when I put the dicum on, I didn't do it on this granite plate because we don't want to get anything on this granite plate. This is precision ground flat. So we don't want uh, we're not, we don't want any dicum, that kind of stuff. If by some chance you happen to get some on here, we can clean it off. But it is best if you try to avoid getting into situations where you have to do that. Now we have two separate height gauges that we can use. One has a dial and one, when we get a closer look, we have a, a digital. We want to move this one with the hand wheel. And when you come down, when you feel it stop, then there's a, make sure that it's at zero, and you can hit these two buttons to make sure that it's zero there. This one, there isn't a hand wheel, but you just want to move it nice and slow, push down, and then once it hits the bottom, you just hit the reset button down here to zero. So with this one will get a closer view. And then you can see me moving the hand wheel. Move it down until you feel the resistance and it touches. And you want to make sure that the zero is in place. For this one, you want to slide it up and down by hand. Make sure that these are tight. Once it hits the bottom, you hit the zero button right on top. Looking at this print, you can see that we have three different dimensions from the bottom. So on this block, half inch up, one inch up, an inch and a half up. And from this side, we've got three quarters of an inch up, inch and a half up, and two and a quarter inches up. So to set our first dimension, I'm going to loosen this one and I'm going to set this more in the center so I'm going to run that all the way down and I'm going to move it looking at my digital I'm going to move it up to the half inch mark I've got it pretty close I'm going to tighten this set screw first then I can use the fine adjustment here to bring this 0.5 zero, 0 and once I've got it in place I can lock this one now this actually is fairly thick and will stand sturdy by itself if you had a thin part you needed to mark you could use a precision square like I have here to back it up and all we're going to do here is we're going to reach up in a little bit here and just drag that across to mark a line at half inch. Now the next one is at one inch, so we'll do the exact same thing. I'll loosen both of these set screws, bring it up to one inch, reasonably close, tighten the top one, and then I want to adjust this till it's at one inch, tighten this lower one, and just move that across to scribe that line and I'm putting a little bit of pressure on there just so that I can hold it in place all you're doing is scratching you're not trying to to cut anything you're not trying to leave a huge mark and the last one is at one and a half as we if you recall so we'll move it up just a little bit 
by hand. Tighten this one up. And on this digital, it's a little slow to read. So you can make a movement too fast and you'll you'll miss your number. There's 1.5 and I will move that across just to mark it. And we'll zoom in on this so you can see. those lines that I have. So there you can see there you can see the lines that I just scribed. We're going to be working from this right hand side so we're going to turn this block 90 degrees to work on this right hand side. And we're going to use this gauge instead now and for this one, it's got a lock right here, a little finger lever. So we'll loosen it, we'll bring it up, and as you recall, we had three quarters of an inch, an inch and a half, 1.5, and 2.25, so two and a quarter. So we're going to bring this up, and if you'll notice here, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on that a little bit so you can watch me move it. So here is down at the bottom is at zero, these are have been zeroed. And what I'm going to do is move that wheel up. There's one, two, three, four. We get to five. There's our zero. And this one's easier. Just lock it down. And you notice that's what it has here. That's made five. So that's five hundred and then each of this one is a hundred thousandths uh, broken into thousandths. So we want to move this up a little bit, 250 thousandths. So then lock it into place. And now scratch across there. We're going to go, we're going to do the three quarter one again just to make sure. So we're going to loosen this up use the hand wheel on this one to move it up and down. So then we're back at zero. Six, seven hundred and fifty thousandths. There, seven hundred and fifty. So we're going to remark these. We'll mark this. Take it down. We are at zero. One, two, three, four. There is five. So there is the correct location there. And the other one is inch and a half. So we'll loosen this, move this up. There's that one inch right there. One, two, three, four, five. Lock that in place. Scratch across there. And then that part is done. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to center punch those areas. We're going to start with a small uh, punch hammer here. We're just going to lightly tap it to get it in place. So you've got your hammer and your punch. And let me zoom in here so you can see what I'm trying to do. So what I'm going to do, come around this other side so you can see it. What I want to do is find the center of that mark. So I'm going to look at that. 
and I try to just move it off to the side so that I can see where that point hits along that line, along that line, and then when I got it where I want it, I think it is, I'm just going to lightly tap it first. Take a look at it. See if that looks like it's on the center point. Now that I've got a little mark there, I can center back in and hit it a little bit harder. And let's see if I can get even closer so you can see this. See how it's a little bit off? It's not exactly in the center. I need to move that just a little bit to one side. So I'm going to just tap a little bit. So at this point, you can usually move it to the right spot. And let's get this where you can see it a little bit better. To this camera a little bit closer so you can get it from my perspective. Being on center. Looks like a little bit. That one a little bit more. And once I've got my mark where I need it, I'll give it a couple of harder taps. And then I'll take a larger punch. And I've got it on the anvil, so it's got a good solid back. And now we have that center. And it looks to me like I still need to move a little bit that direction, so I still can. And then if you look at it, Instead of looking at it at an angle, you can see it, it's looking pretty square in the center. Now we're going to do the same thing with these other two. So I'm going to back out a little bit so you can see me do it. There we go. I'll take Tiny punch. And we will
And you'll notice I wasn't trying to hammer a nail through there. I was just marking that spot. But I wanted it deep enough that my center drill will catch onto that and drill in the right spot. So at this point, we have laid out our part. We've center punched it. So now we're going to go to the drill press. And we're going to set up and drill uh, our center drill and then drill our three holes and then ream one hole and we'll tap the other the other two.